Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the new 2021 Toyota Camry, courtesy of Hanover Toyota in Hanover, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. Wanted to check this one out because there are actually several big changes for the 2021 Camry. Of course, you got legendary reliability as well. Everybody knows that at this point. These cars do last 300,000 plus miles. That is definitely something that is very possible in this thing. And I do like to review this one every single year. It is quite popular. And in the past, I have always liked it. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so as you can imagine, there are several different trim levels for the 2021 Camry. First one being the LE, starting at $24,970, SE for $26,485, SE Nightshade Edition for $27,185, XLE for $29,870, XSE for $30,420, TRD for $32,185, XLE V6 for $34,995, and lastly, the one we have today being the XSE V6, starting at $35,545. But so one of the changes for this year though, all wheel drive is actually optional now on the Camry at least, if you were to go with one of those four cylinder engine configurations, it is not available, however, for the V6 trims like the one we have today. But if you wanted to add all wheel drive to any of those four cylinder configurations, simply add $1,400 to any of those prices. And so as I have now alluded to, there are two different engine configurations for the 2021 Toyota Camry. Of course, you got the hybrid as well. That is really a separate video in itself though. But first engine configuration is going to be a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder, putting out 202 horsepower at 6,600 RPM, 182 pound feet of torque available at 4,400 RPM, power sent to the front wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with sequential shift mode. Zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 7.8 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 28 in the city, 39 highway for the front wheel drive, then 25 in the city, 34 on the highway for the all wheel drive. That's essentially the trade off. But if you live here in PA like myself, the all wheel drive is definitely gonna be useful when it starts to snow, of course. And by the way, the Camry does take regular unleaded fuel regardless of engine configuration that you go with. But so then the other engine configuration, the one we have today, is going to be a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6. This one puts out 301 horsepower at 6,600 RPM, 267 pound-feet of torque available at 4,700 RPM, power sent to front wheels only through an eight-speed automatic, once again with sequential shift mode, and paddle shifters. So we do have those paddle shifters and I will be testing those out to see how quickly they react in a little bit here. But zero to 60 time on this one with the V6 comes in at approximately 5.8 seconds, which is certainly respectable there. With MPG numbers coming in at 22 in the city, 33 highway, and like I said, regular unleaded fuel. But before we test out the paddle shifters or do the acceleration test in this one, I do want to mention there are some drive modes that are available on the Camry. They're located just behind the shifter there. They will include eco, normal, and sport, essentially adjusting things like the shift points and the throttle response. So having said that, I'm going to go ahead and put it in sport driving mode. And what we are now going to do is find a straightaway with no traffic. And let's do a quick little paddle shifter test here first. And let's see how quickly they are going to react for us here. All right, paddle shifter test here. It's not bad. There is an ever so slight delay, but it's not bad. Certainly not the worst I've ever tested. Typically that belongs to SUVs. And I'm glad they're there at least for engine brake. And so when you're going down a hill, maybe when it's snowing out, you can use the paddle shifters rather than actually hitting the brakes to kind of prevent you from sliding off the road. So they're there for that reason as well. But now having said that, let's give back full control of this one to the Camry and let's do a quick little acceleration test here. And let's see how this V6 here is going to get us up to speed. All right, in three, Two, one. Whoa. <laughs> Good grief. Wow. Dang. Okay. So a little bit of slippage. You guys probably heard that when I first hit the gas. So sending that much power to the front wheels, you're obviously going to get that, unfortunately. But having said that, once it obtains some grip, this thing was pulling hard, man. This is definitely a nice acceleration for the Camry. Without a doubt, no issues emerging onto the highway. So that was actually 
kind of fun when you get past that initial slippage, of course. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 12 inch ventilated front discs for both the four cylinder and the six cylinder, actually. However, if you were to go with that TRD trim level, you're gonna get 12.9 inch ventilated front discs. It's a little bit different configuration there. In the back, 11.06 inch solid rear discs for every single trim level across the board. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, it comes in at 122 feet for the non-TRD trim level, like the one we have today, or 118 feet if you were to go with that TRD trim level. So a little lesser on that one, of course, because you have larger brakes in the front, essentially. But touching then on suspension and handling, up front, you're going to get McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension. Also front and rear stabilizer bars. And then the TRD trim level is going to add to that TRD track tune springs and shock absorbers, and also TRD track tune stabilizer bars as well. So therefore, you can probably conclude you're going to get a lot better handling with the TRD trim level, at least. But then as far as my experience driving this one today, when it comes to this suspension first thing i want to mention is the steering feel that was the first thing i noticed immediately when i pulled out of the dealer's lot definitely a weightier steering feel much more weighty than i expected which is a good thing because it instantly points you in the direction that you want to go you get a better feeling of being in control and so on definitely weightier than the hyundai sonata i will say that because that's fresh in my mind of course probably nearly identical to the honda accord quite honestly but it is a very nice steering feel definitely did not expect that coming from toyota especially being in a camry it's very nice i like the steering feel a lot in this thing as far as ride quality goes it's pretty much as expected essentially pretty much right on par for the course not the smoothest ride in the world but certainly not the worst either so it's as expected there touching on cabin noise i would say that is a little bit above average for this one definitely preventing a lot of the exterior wind noise from coming into the cabin so that's a good thing and that's due in part because the camry does get an acoustic laminated front windshield for every single trim level across the board so that's going to assist with that and then touching on visibility i can see perfectly fine out the back certainly not going to have any issues with that you typically don't when it comes to sedan so that is fine as well and i did want to also mention in addition to that kind of staying along the lines of visibility there is a head-up display that is going to come with the xle v6 and the xse v6 having said that it's not the brightest head-up display i've ever experienced but it is going to be there to help you better keep your eyes on the road so therefore that is going to assist with visibility as well but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2021 toyota camry all right so here she is you guys the new 2021 toyota camry love this red exterior with the black roof on this one looks so good let me first start with the changes for 2021 when it comes to the exterior at least there is a revised slightly revised i should say front end for 2021 also some new paint colors for this year and some new wheel designs as well but that pretty much rounds out what is new for the exterior at least for this one let's go ahead and start up front led headlights do come standard on every single trim level across the board giving you better illumination at night as opposed to the halogens that's always a good thing they do of course come with the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark out at night they will turn on automatically for you there led daytime running lights also coming standard across the board if you were to go with the trd trim or one of the se trims like we have today you will get black headlight housings with those and then the LE trim levels are going to give you clear housings up front so I wanted to distinguish between that LE trims are also going to give you a dark gray front grille SE trims giving you a black front grille and of course you do have front air curtains if you were to go with that TRD trim level at least and making our way to the side as I had alluded to earlier there is a two-tone color scheme coming with some of the trim levels you don't have to get it I do like the black and the red theme that this one has going on with it though I will say that body colored side skirts coming standard with the SE trim levels gloss black side skirts with a TRD trim. Taking a look at the side mirrors, they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors for all trims but the TRD because with that TRD they are actually gloss black side mirrors of course to tie in together with the side skirts and if you do go with the two-tone color scheme you also get gloss black side mirrors with that as well. I should mention that because we do have that today of course. Heated side mirrors coming with the XLE and XSE trims along with the TRD and you will get LED integrated turret signals for the XLE, XSE and TRD deep once again and taking a look down at the wheel setup they will of course differ amongst the trim levels once again le trim giving you 17 inch alloys 
XSE, XLE, and XLE V6, giving you 18 inch machine finished alloys, 19 inch gloss black alloys coming with the XSE and XSE V6. And then you get 19 by 8.5 inch matte black alloys for the TRD. So they're gonna be a little bit wider of a wheel combination course with the sportier nature of the TRD and also every time I review a Camry I always like to mention the c-pillar on this one it looks a lot like a Saab you guys got to agree with me on this one but I definitely like the look of that nice silhouette I should say but off to the back on this one it's the first thing I wanted to mention back here if you were to go with the TRD trim you will get a TRD gloss black lifted rear spoiler however there is going to be an optional black rear spoiler like you're looking at right now for the SE trim levels. And again, it is optional if you wanted it. LED tail lights do come standard across the board. Once again, a little bit of illumination at night there. Gloss black rear diffuser coming with the TRD trim level only. And then just below it all, exhaust setup is actually going to differ pretty substantially amongst the trims, believe it or not. Single exhaust outlet for the LE, dual chrome tips for the SE and XSE, single chrome finish for the XLE, and then you get dual exhaust with quad chrome tips for all the V6 six trims like we have right now so do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip It's up and now since we are around back of the Camry, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there's a couple different ways to go about doing it. There is of course a button on the key fob itself. It's probably the simplest way, but as far as opening it up from the trunk itself, it's kind of in a different position than most other manufacturers. It's essentially all the way to the right up underneath there. So to the right of the Y just underneath. So typically it's gonna be in the middle for other cars out there, but with this one, it's kind of all the way to the right. But anyways, once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 15.1 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, of course, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it. Then make our way to the rear legroom. That comes in at an even 38 inches, which is a good bit for reference. I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there sitting behind my own driving position, of course. Also, for those rear passengers, they will find a rear center armrest with cup holders for every single trim level across the board. Rear ventilation also going to be back there as well. One of the things I wish, though, the Camry would have added back there are some USB charging ports, perhaps just underneath the rear ventilation. I know some of the competitors do that, so certainly would have been nice to see that back there as well. But overall, back seats are certainly comfortable. But then making our way to the front seats, eight-way power adjustable driver's seat for all trims with power lumbar as well. And this is one of the things that Camry always gets 100% right is the seat comfort. So I could definitely see myself taking long road trips in the Camry. The seats are plenty comfortable. Cloth finish is going to come with the LE soft text upholstery with the SE. You will get full leather seating for the XLE and XSE. That of course is what you're looking at right now. Heated front seats are going to come with the X LE trim level and up and you can get ventilated front seats it is going to be optional and if you did those buttons are located directly behind the cup holders both the heated and the ventilated front seats in case you did get it but Anyways, taking a look at the steering wheel now, it is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped for the XLE V6 and SSE V6 trim levels. And you can get it heated, although a heated steering wheel doesn't come standard, it is available for the V6 trims at least. Then make our way to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Camry logo on the one side and when you flip it over, lock, unlock and that button to pop the rear hatch as well. But we'll say it is all keyless entry with a push button start. If you go with the XLE trim level and up, it is going to be optional on the other trims, but essentially all I'm going to do now is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee there. It's open that once started up, tachometer is all the way to your left, speedometer all the way to the right, and there is a fairly large digital display front and center there. To control what is on that digital display, simply use the steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel there. And that of course is going to give you different driver information, like a digital speedometer you can display up there if you wanted to, how many miles you have left until you hit empty, that's always important. There is a compass up there, radio settings, different safety features when you need your next oil change, the list goes on, but basically everything 
you would possibly need up there and also your driving modes i should mention that as well it's going to be displayed up there too now touching on overall interior quality you will get a panoramic glass roof if you were to go with the xle or xse v6 trim levels of course that is what you guys are looking at right now it goes all the way into the back seat so that's definitely a good thing overhead sunglass holder is available in certain trims as well home link controls coming with the xle and xse trims they are located on the rear view mirror for up to three different garage doors there dual zone climate control coming with the xle trim level and up you will get a wireless phone charger once again with the xle trim level and up you're going to find aluminum sport pedals for the trd trim along with some additional red stitching throughout the interior as well with that trim level ambient interior lighting for the xle trim level and up and overall it's finished just fine i have no issues with the way the camera is finished here you do have some nice stitching just above the passenger side glove box there's a little bit of plastic but at least there's a design to it just above that so i like that just in front of the shifter there's a wireless phone charger that has fit my phone perfectly i have the samsung galaxy s20 plus in case anybody was curious so it does fit my phone perfectly fine there is a usb charging port along with a 12 volt power outlet just in front of that just to the right of the shifter you have two cup holders there's an electromechanical parking brake and actually a good bit of storage within that center armrest as well and by the way within that you do have a usb charging port and then a regular phone charger in there as well but overall interior quality is just fine for me and the seats really make it worthwhile because the seat comfort is absolutely amazing in the camry so i will say that but so then touching on now the infotainment screen of the camry there's going to be two different configurations you can get in this one there is a seven inch color touchscreen display for the le se and se nightshade then there is a nine inch color touchscreen display for the xle trim level and up and of course that is what you guys are looking at right now either way though you still get bluetooth and audio streaming you still get android auto apple carplay that comes for even the bottom trim level which is important that means you can hook up your smartphone to the camera and therefore have free navigation displayed up on that infotainment screen you can also like and dislike your pandora songs and there's a couple other compatible apps as well if you wanted the factory navigation system because maybe you didn't have a smartphone that is going to be optional for the v6 trim levels if you wanted it you can of course check out your driving statistics up there too along with your radio information and so when it comes to this sound systems here for the Camry for the most part you get six speakers for the LE SE SE Nightshade XLE XSE and TRD trims however if you were to go with either the XLE V6 or the XSE V6 like we have today you will actually find a nine speaker JBL sound system with a subwoofer with an external amp as well so Having said all that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. Let's go ahead and turn to the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. That sound system was wonderful. Wow. That was really good. There was a good bit of bass. The clarity was good. It felt like it was coming at you from all directions. That was a really, really good sound system for the Camry, I gotta be honest. I mean, if you like music, you definitely gotta go with the JBL on one of those two V6 trim levels. That was great. I liked it. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display at least is when you do put the camera in reverse, you of course will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. There is also a 360 degree monitor that is going to be available as well. That is going to be that bird's eye view to the right there you guys are looking at. So all of that letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start when it comes to the Camry, this is an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, which is the very highest designation given by IIHS. So that's always a good start. Front side side current airbags do come standard. Driver and front passenger knee airbags as well. That doesn't always come standard. Rear seat mounted side impact airbags in the back. That's usually like a $300 option on BMW. So love that the Camry gives you that too. But really all the fun comes in with the advanced safety. And by the way, all of this is going to come standard on every single trim level. It is going to be what Toyota calls their Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 Plus which includes a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert with steering assist, automatic high beams, lane tracing assist, road sign assist, letting you know the speed limit of any given road that you're on. That's always nice and dynamic radar cruise control as well, which is a wonderful thing. If you've ever had the experience of testing that out, it steers for you, it brakes for you, it's crazy. But anyways, blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert is going to come with the XLE trim level and up then. And that's really the last thing I wanted to mention there. But 
Overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the new Camry, great fuel economy when it comes to the four cylinder at least, which is good for the size of the Camry, quite honestly. Of course, you got great reliability. Everybody knows that. This is a vehicle that can very possibly last 300,000 plus miles. Available all wheel drive is absolutely wonderful. I wish everybody else did that too. Wish the Honda Accord did it. I wish the Sonata did it. I wish the Kia K5 did it. So the fact that Toyota put all wheel drive on the Camry, I think is a wonderful thing, especially living in Pennsylvania. TRD trim offering is definitely pretty cool for the Camry as well. When it comes to room for improvement of the Camry, I always have to have something. The front end is still a bit polarizing to me. I'm kind of 50-50 on that. Having said that, the side profile is wonderful and the back is really, really good as well. If only they would tweak the front end a little bit to appeal to more people, I would definitely say exterior styling would then be perfect. Also, overall, this is a very competitive segment being this mid-size sedan segment. You got the Honda Accord, which is an absolute blast to drive. You have the Mazda 6, which is super luxurious on the inside. You have the tech-loving Hyundai Sonata with its digital gauges and digital key and all that fun stuff. And then you have the really good-looking new Kia K5 as well. So it's a very competitive segment. But having said that, Toyota Camry is by far the most reliable when comparing all of those and just overall it's always a super solid pick but anyways let me know what you guys think of the new camera here in the comments section below that is about it for this one you guys feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you wanted to see what's coming next to the channel be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold when the moon hits your eye like a bigger pizza pie that's more when the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine that's more